Hi everyone, my name is Sean McGrubby and I'm here to demonstrate, hopefully demonstrate, the issues I am having with this motherboard I purchased from eBuyer.com on the 13th of March 2010. It is a, you can probably see it, a Gigabyte GA890GPA-UD3H. It's got an onboard ATI graphics card with HDMI out, DVI out and so on. Now the problem I'm facing here is sometimes when I turn on this motherboard oh, you can read it now um, the display will not initialize properly and it will the output will be completely garbled. Um, for some reason it appears to work fine in this state until you boot up into Windows, uh, at which point it will blue screen uh, the error message says something about the video card or video memory being corrupt. Um, so I'm going to try and demonstrate this for everyone. Uh, so what I'm going to do first of all is you'll see I have a DVI cable coming out here into my monitor up there. I also have another machine to demonstrate that it's working. So that's working fine, running CentOS, and I've been using this monitor for years, so there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll disconnect it from the back of this machine. If you can find it. There we go. See there, the monitor has just gone off, no signal. Um, now, this is assembled. All I've got is power cable, sorry, I'll bring my light over, DVI, and keyboard. So, nothing in it. Now, I'm wanting to disconnect the hard drives just so I don't power them on and off and on and off. Um, I've already ruled out the hard drive's been the issue because it doesn't make a difference at all. Right. Heck, why don't I just unplug the DVD drive as well? Uh, one thing worth noting, um, I purchased a silent fan for the top of the case. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it is not silent at all on this motherboard. So what I've had to do is by a splitter, which will feed it 5 volts instead of 12 volts, which makes it silent. Uh, not ideal, but anyway, that's disconnected as well. Uh, so all I've got is the motherboard, the two 4-pin power connectors, this is the main power connector, and the water pump is plugged in, I don't know if you can see it there. And a fan for the radiator up at the top. Now these um, fans and pump themselves and so on don't actually make a foggy a difference because if you unplug them, the issue still crops up. Don't worry, don't let it overheat or anything. That'd be silly. Okay. Um, right. So I will power on and hope for the best. Now. It's likely to work perfectly fine the first time, so here goes. Our button is over here, and I'll press. Here goes. Oh, look, it's fine this time. So let's try again. Power off. On. Oh, there we go. Huh. Now the strange thing is, while it's like this, I have been able to boot into a mem test blind. Um, sometimes it looks a bit easier to read than this, um, and I could tell that the mem test. 
completed successfully without any error three times in a row. So I don't think it's the memory. I think it's the motherboard itself. I've also tested each stick individually, so it's not that. Um, as you can see, everything, the hard drives are not on, um, but the fan, the CPU fan, you can't hear that at all. You can hear the pump, uh, that's going back as well. Um, I've got to send that directly to Corsair though, apparently. Uh, a lot of people have problems with it buzzing quite loudly. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, it's really annoying. Um, I can have it running a lot quieter if I put it into the 5 volt headers, but <laughs> strangely enough, that means the pump about 25% of the time will not turn on at all at boot which, as you can imagine, is not good. So, that's not suitable. So I think the pump's goosed. Um, pump being goosed aside, this is a very cold boot, uh, so it's not overheating. As well as that, I have had it up and running. I mean, if, if you boot and it's okay at the beginning, the system will actually run stable for days at a time. Um, and that's with a CPU bench running, uh, I don't know, 3D Mark and so on, all stressing out the system. It's fine. It will not crash once. It will not even get remotely hot. The CPU, when it's under full load, like I said, is only 40 degrees. Uh, so I guess th there is a good thing about the noisy pump. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not usable. I can't deal with that every single bit. Nor can I deal with the noise. It wouldn't be such a problem if it didn't affect when the system was suspended or hibernated, but it does. When that happens, you will power on your machine again from suspend or hibernate or whatever. It will do that. It will continue to boot Windows, and then it will blue screen. Totally useless to me. Lose all my work. Right, so that about concludes the video. Oh, um, before I go, I will show you. See the reset button at the end. The reset button most likely fixes this. In fact, I'm going to try Control Alt Delete to see if that fixes it. In one sec. Control delete fixed it. So I have no idea what the issue is whatsoever. But it's really annoying me. And the annoying thing about it, if I send this back, I'm going to have to clean the CPU as well. And I don't have any sort of cleaning alcohols handy. So it's going to be a pain. Oh, before I go, the PSU, it is not. I have tried another PSU. In fact, the one from here, which is working perfectly fine and has been for years. Well, not years, but you know. The PSU in here has the two four-pin connectors and so on as well. So it's, you know, a full, decent PSU. And so that about concludes my video of this motherboard absolutely sucking. Just a close up again of the uh, sorry, model number. There you go. Oh, 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 one more thing I forgot. I plugged in a PCI Express graphics card from one of my other machines and as expected the machine is fine. It boots on 100% of the time. So it's definitely just the onboard graphics card that is screwy. Um, I haven't tried another monster, but I have tried the HDMI port, which completely fails to initialize um, most of the time as well. And that's on a completely separate, if you can see, TV up there.